Okay, guys, I'm here today for Michael Pixley. Huge honor for me, Alejandro and Heath. Guys, one month after the ADCC 2024, where Michael was the biggest surprise of the event, he was able to beat the one and only Nicholas Merigali, which is one of my greatest friends, by the way. And uh, Nicholas was on a, such like a winning series, like he was literally like, beating everybody. And uh, Pixley was the only one who was able to kind of like stop him. And uh, this week, Pix is showing an entire structure all about front headlocks. And he's going to show us here today the front headlock, the dart stroke from the three quarter guard that he used against Trator in the first match and Nicholas in the second match. And can't wait to learn. All right, so we'll just start uh, in turtle. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. <laughs> so it's all about once you get to this front headlock, it's all about getting this angle change all right so i'm in the front head lock got my weight on him now i'm getting this grip to the neck here i'm trying to pull down on the neck so he can't posture up once i get him down i'm going for this this like gable grip putting my forearm at like an angle across the top of his head not straight across his neck but uh like uh, like at an angle across the the crown of the head you can go gable grip or you can go bolt cutter grip where i put my thumb right in between my uh, index finger and my middle finger if, it, if the gable kind of hurts your wrist, I kind of think this one's stronger. And then the most common mistake is like, you don't want to try to flip them. I just want to crash them on this shoulder. Here, once I get him on this shoulder, I want to keep my chest, keeping his, his, his this arm pinned, circling, cut the angle, trying to get hip to hip. Now, another detail, lifting the head and punching this arm deep. From here, I can lock up my darts. And I could get into a million different details on all the different angles and how to change the, the angle and finish the darts, but the three quarter is more important than the actual darts itself. So, so uh, two things. So when you, one, one thing I noticed, when you do the gable, gable grip, you, you grip like this? Yeah, it's a bolt cutter grip, it's called. Oh man, I had never seen that before. Like, it, uh, what's the reason? Like, uh, it just saves your wrist. Huh, that's some people are really strong and they'll posture up and you're not able to flip them and it hurts your wrist real bad. I got it. So if you switch to that bolt cutter grip, you'll feel it. It you more flexibility. You'll kind feel of. it, yeah. It doesn't put any, any pressure yeah. on your wrist at and all. And then, can you show again, emphasizing this idea that you don't want to throw, you, you don't want to flip then. You just want to put pressure on the shoulder, is that right? Yeah, so I don't want to do like a traditional three-quarter where I, where I flip him because then he'll just roll up. Okay. So all I'm trying to do is just tuck his head under and put them on that hip or that shoulder okay and then from here i just circle hip to hip lift the head i'm letting go of my grip lifting punching this three quarter and getting right into the darts finish good can i try also okay so okay so you were here and then you're oh. take so, your so, right hand and cup the neck like the and then you make this grip so see how you're putting uh the soft part of your forearm on yep. his head Turn it to, yep. Now take this, you're gonna go here. Oh, do you, okay, this is the grip. Okay, got it. Now put yeah. them on that shoulder. Now circle hip to hip. Now take your left hand, lift the head, and punch your right hand. Try to punch me in the hand. Do you let go of this grip when you do this? Yep, lift the head from the front, now punch it. Now you can lock up the doors. Man, this is good. Yeah, it's tight. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it's time to finish, can you stay for both knees over here or just, it's just fine, right? I think it's tighter. You can finish it from there, or you can step this leg all the way over into mount. Stomp the foot to the mat. That's the worst. Okay, you got it. Let me try one more time. Yeah, if you mount them from there, it's really Yeah, I know, and I'm just thinking <laughs> out loud here. When you got the throw on Nicholas, he fell over his shoulder, and you put even more pressure on the shoulder with the... I went with to the, the other dark. side. Oh, you went to the other side. Because when I threw him here, boom, he posted this hand, then I came here. I got it. Okay, I got it. No, man, that's crazy. Yeah. So, right here. Oh, I'm gonna go to the side. I'm gonna boom. Tuck my hand in. I'm gonna make this grip. So, fix fix the grip first. Oh, yeah, I'm caught in that. There you go. Now, get this elbow over here. So, you wanna get this lock? You wanna rotate this lock more. Like this? Here. I got it. Now it's stronger. Now, if he's trying to fight it, boom, he can't circle hip to hip. Head to head, and now I can lift this, this head up and his slide and get here. And then it's over and from go. there. Man, that's awesome. So the best part, Bernardo, about this video 
is we actually brought in two of our white belts over yep. here and we bring them specifically they've never done this move at all okay and we yep. try to take a little different approach they're going to come in and they make a lot of mistakes yeah the mistakes that they're making here are the mistakes that we believe that and you guys fix some people that are going to purchase the instruction yep. are going to make instead of them purchasing it michael knows how to do it i know how to do it but the people at home don't That's, the guys yeah, don't I and it answers the questions in that advance for them. It. and yep. it, it's I, I i truly believe that it 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 makes them stand out let's just say that yep. we're able to answer those questions for them um and it's no this is such a great idea and this is a video if it's only you doing pretty much and uh, i love it because their questions are the same questions that everybody has so you guys are literally like teaching and answering it's like a teaching and uh q a at the same time yes no this is awesome yeah so <laughs> so guys this instruction is all about the front headlock attacks and this is the dars this is the most famous one that uh, pixie has and uh, i love how everything is connected like uh, he all all his take notes kind of like leads to the dars yeah. almost and uh, it's just kind of something we've always done with our team you know like uh, co coaching when when i met alejandro i find the wrestling style that he has or the jiu-jitsu style that he has and then i just try to get the moves to come together and get them to flow so it just yeah. works out wherever pixie ends up uh, it, it's it, it's just easier if, if we if we make those small corrections to put him where he needs to be to go from you know advancement to a position yep. and uh i mean michael seems to always be in that position to yep. really go to a submission so no i fully agree yeah so guys make sure to check it out it's going to be at bgjfanatics.com very soon and uh, make sure to learn from this guy because he he's the man please help me out to grow my youtube channel just click subscribe and to watch more videos, just click under See More Videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.